Hello my fellow creators, my name is Stancy and you are on the Stancy Noah channel, the best place for creative people who want to live better. Look, recently I checked out my personal Instagram feed and I did not feel satisfied. It didn't give me the vibe that I'm doing this professionally. I am a product photographer and content creator. I take photos and I design Instagram feeds for brands and for people. But when it comes to my personal Instagram feed, I guess I just don't put as much effort in it as I should. So in today's video, I'm going to create some photos for myself and I'll design a beautiful Instagram feed that is unique, that is modern, that feels fresh and new. And I invite you for this wonderful journey with me. If you are a creative professional of some sorts, maybe a product photographer or social media manager, or maybe you're a designer and you would like to have a very beautiful feed for your personal Instagram page, then you might really enjoy this video. And also on this channel, I am creating videos about creativity, lifestyle design and building a creative career. If you are interested in any of these topics, definitely subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below if you would like to see more content like this on my channel. Now let's begin creating Instagram feed. Okay, here are the five steps I'll take to create my Instagram feed. First, I'll research and gather inspiration. Second, I'll take photos. Third, I'll design the initial Instagram feed. Fourth, I'll create a content plan. Fifth, I'll finalize the feed. Let's dive deep into that. So right now I am researching Pinterest and just trying to find some really cool and inspiring Instagram feeds. I'm not going to replicate any of these, instead I'm just taking a note of what's currently trendy, what's not trendy, what will match my style and how people are combining their photos together, how they are using colors and text in their Instagram feed designs. I have created this Pinterest board for you, if you would like to check it out and get inspired, just follow the link in the description and don't forget to follow me on Pinterest for more inspiring and amazing ideas for photos. When creating Instagram feed, it's not that important to know the rules of how to combine the pictures together, it's so much more important to unpack the personality who is behind this Instagram feed. Because ultimately I want my feed to reflect my creative personality and I want people who will open up my page to immediately feel if we are vibing, if we are on the same page, if we are on the same wavelength. You know, <laughs> so I'm finally ready to go outside and take some photos, but I feel like it's so much more fun to do it with a friend. So I called my friend Lisa. I know how much she likes being photographed. I hope she likes to take photos as much because this Saturday we agreed to meet up and we are going to go outside, take some photos for our Instagrams, maybe to even shoot some reels. I'm very excited about that. I'm going to take you guys with me on the journey and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye. So I just woke up recently and I'm supposed to meet with Lisa in like three hours. Oh, and I'm not sure that I want to go and take photos and be photographed today. I woke up and realized that my hair isn't perfect and I don't really have time to wash and dry it. I'm just not in the mood. I had such a great mood yesterday though. I was like on the peak of my energy and today I'm like... Phew. So I'm just gonna do my makeup and hope that... It will change something, maybe I will change my mind, but honestly, now I feel like I should be calling that off. And I also realized that some of the clothing that I wanted to wear for the photo shoot is in laundry, so I can't wear it, which sucks. Well, even the fact that I did not mess my eyeliner did not bring my mood up and I honestly feel like I should be calling it off because with this kind of energy I don't see myself posing and enjoying the process and having fun. I should probably just forget about this for now. 
you know what? Forget about what I said earlier. I changed my mind. I'm going to the photo shoot. I took some time. I called Lisa. I made myself some iced coffee. And I went through my clothing, hence the pile of stuff on the background. I know what kind of outfits I want to take with me. I'm going to pack my backpack. I'm going to show you my outfits and what I'm taking with me. And I'm going to go and have fun. And I know it will be amazing. I know it will be really good for me. I know that creating this Instagram feed is something that I really wanted. So why do I want to call it off? I guess because it's like super comfortable to just stay at home do nothing and watch friends for the whole day which i love doing a lot but again this is good for myself and even with my imperfect hair and my tired skin and in my boring clothing i still want to take photos of myself i want to capture myself as i am because i am good enough yeah good enough that's it so this is my outfit number one outfit number two and outfit number three i am also taking with me four pairs of glasses one two three and four and this is what i'm taking with me dress number one dress number two this jacket glasses some accessories and I'm also taking this camera and a tripod so that I can shoot some backstage for you and I'm wearing my first outfit just because it's super difficult to iron and oh I'm also taking this so that's it When we met with Lisa, we decided to grab some drinks and head to the first location, which was this minimalistic grey wall. I'm so glad that I didn't call the shoot off and I had a lot of fun posing for this funky collage I had in mind. And if you're wondering, I don't feel uncomfortable taking pictures in public. I'm a photographer, so I work hundreds of times on locations and generally I don't experience social anxiety because I don't care what people will think about me. I will never know anyway, so why bother? When I needed to change into another outfit, we went to a coffee shop where I could do that in a toilet. We also took a small lunch break before continuing the shoot. Both me and Lisa have a similar taste when it comes to shooting locations, so it was super easy to take photos of each other on every location. And after we were done with all the photos and all wonderful locations, we decided to head to Lisa's home. And finally, we just spent a nice evening together cooking mochi, eating ramen, watching YouTube, you know. I am so grateful for this experience. Thank you very much, Lisa, for sharing it with me. And I hope sometime soon we can do that again. This is my refreshed home office setup. I am in love with my workspace. How can I not want to work here? It is so colorful and I love it here, especially in the evening. I am more productive in the evening for sure. And the smell of lilies, oh, I love it. <sighs> Look how many photos I have from today. How am I supposed to choose from these? It's, it's a lot. I think a good tip here would be to like photos immediately when you took them. Like when you finish with one location, you just flip through all the pictures and you like the ones you feel good about. And later, of course, you can flip through all of them again, but it would like really save some time. I know it may be quite dark in here, but I really don't want to take out my softbox and set it up just for this one shot. Because now I'll sit with my laptop here and I will start designing the initial Instagram grid. I'm very excited about this. I think the photos turn out great. I can't wait to put them together nicely and I will get to post all of it and you will see that in advance. I'm using Photoshop to design my Instagram feed. I just created this template for myself and it will help me to find the best possible order of photos. 
If you would like to learn how to use Photoshop for designing your Instagram grid, just follow the link in the description to my blog where you will find a tutorial on how to do this template and how to arrange the photos in it. I just added all of the pictures that potentially could be in my Instagram in no particular order. Later I will switch them up, but first I decided to make a few designs. And then I designed a few posts, just added some text element, making this photo look more interesting. Also I had a few ideas for content in mind, so I needed to make some covers for a carousel post and for a reel, so I'm doing that. I just want to mention that in this video I will not be giving you any tips or talking about the rules on how to combine the pictures for your Instagram grid, instead I'm just sharing my experience but in the future I'll dedicate videos to that if you would like to see this kind of videos just let me know by leaving a comment down below giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel this would help a lot and after the designs were done I just sat down and experimented with the order of photos one eternity later I have all the photos and designs ready. I played with the Instagram layout quite a bit yesterday. I'm happy, but I'm not quite there yet. To finalize my Instagram feed, I need to do a content plan to make sure that I'm going to be posting consistently and that will help me with the final order as well. Recently, I created a YouTube video about Instagram content ideas for photographers. I shared there a simple and customizable structure of posts. This structure is going to be very helpful for any creative professional who want to offer their services and products yes. and reach the their categories right audience are via educational. Instagram. If you are interested in that, check out this video, you will find the link in the description below. I'm going to use that structure for my content plan right now. In the next few weeks, I'll focus my content on product photography, Instagram grid designs and my lifestyle. So let's do that. I'm creating a content plan so that I can stay consistent and make one post every two to three days. And after I finish the content plan, I finalize the feed. After working on the content plan and doing a little bit of a mixer rooney on my posts and pictures, I'm finally ready to present to you the fruit of my labor. Here it is! This is my baby! Okay, I'll just pop it on the screen so that it's easier to see. I like it a lot. I'm very proud of it. And if you like it too, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at stancy.nova so you can see all of these amazing and beautiful posts come into the fruition. I've planned a lot of inspiring and educational content for my Instagram. I am very excited to be more consistent because, again, I'm doing my Instagram feed like that in advance so that I can stay consistent. I think when I will be on like post 9, I will start creating a new one and maybe I will make another video for you. Just let me know if you like content like that by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know which part of this video you liked the most and finally do not forget to subscribe to my channel stick around if you want to have more content in your feed about creativity lifestyle design building a creative career and stuff like that stuff like that really stuff like what I think I'm ready to wrap up this video guys thank you very much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one peace